was slightly more than nine months ago that Mexico captured its record fifth Gold Cup title at a sold-out giant stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey, just across the Hudson River from New York City. The 5-0 win over the USA proved to be the catalyst that put El Tri back on track to qualify for this year's World Cup Finals in South Africa. The Mexican national selection returns to East Rutherford tonight and will play in front of another jam-packed stadium. Only this time, the friendly against Ecuador will take place at a fabulous new structure next door, the new Meadowland Stadium. Mexico took part in its first training session at the nearly 83,000 seat venue. Temporary grass was brought in to cover the artificial turf. It was obvious that no detail was spared and that fan comfort was a priority. While Giant Stadium is currently being torn down for additional parking, Mexico is looking to rise as it prepares for the World Cup Finals. Mexico head coach Javier Aguirre, who is guiding El Tri for the second time at a World Cup Finals, sat down with CONCACAF TV and shared his thoughts as South Africa draws near. I'm very excited, happy to return to New York. Things went well for us here recently in the Gold Cup. We got to see some of our friends from CONCACAF, and we will inaugurate a stadium. The players are happy, but there is pressure to play well, largely because I have 26 players, and only 23 can go to the World Cup. They are tense, but with a lot of desire to play a good game. It's wonderful. It makes me happy. I think they're going to be around 80,000 fans. It speaks to the fact that the Mexican team left a good image here several months back and that the Mexican fans want to see their national team. I'm going to tell you what I've told reporters in Mexico. I don't speak about the players who are not here, because if I start to speak about one, I have to start to speak about the other 300 or 400 players and why each one of them are not here. All of them have a right to play on the national team. Therefore, I prefer to speak about those who are here, regarding the 10 European-based players. I know that some of them are not playing regularly, Osorio, Villa, Franco, but I have confidence in them, and I think we can get them ready for the World Cup. From here on, the 10 players know that their place is not secure, and that they have to work as I have to eliminate three players from the 26. No one has a confirmed spot, not even experienced players like Rafa Marquez, Cuauhtémoc Blanco, Conejo Perez, or Torado. Players who have played under me at the World Cup. They know it and have to work hard. It means a lot to me to have so many players in Europe. I have been an advocate as I had the opportunity to play in Europe as well as coach there. I have always been said that the Mexican player is very strong. Mexico has a strong league, but those that go play in other leagues like Cuauhtémoc, who came here to the MLS, gain another perspective in regards of what happens in their country and in other countries. You at least have the ability to see where Mexico is in the world of soccer. And while these 10 don't have their spot guaranteed, they do have a distinct type of experience to those in Mexico. I think that these five world champions, in addition there's Chicharito, who's young, there's Guardado, there's Pablo Barrera, who's very young, are people who aren't afraid of success. Normally years back, Mexicans went to Europe or went to the United States and we weren't comfortable, like we are in the Azteca where we have been very strong and we have lots of support. These youngsters, along with the European-based players and the others with lots of experience, aren't afraid. We're going to play against France and we're going to look to beat them. We aren't going to say, let's hope that they don't score that many goals against us or let's hope Uruguay isn't on its best day. We're going to go out with the desire to compete and beat France, Uruguay, and South Africa. I think that we have years improving and it's a step forward to be confident and know that you can play against anyone in any place. Therefore, I think this generation is coming. They are very young. They are only 20, have been all over the world, and their enthusiasm is contagious. The talent on Mexico's roster is such that advancing deep into the World Cup Finals is a distinct possibility. For those players who want to live history, that journey recommences this evening at the new Meadowland Stadium.